For almost as long as this channel has existed, I have had a true fascination with portable projectors. Optima has been appearing on my desk in one form or another for nearly 10 years now. So it figures that I would take a look at one of their latest entries into the portable projector market, the ML1050ST. I've never reviewed a short throw projector before, and this projector has a lot more brightness backing it up than the other portable projectors I reviewed from Optima. So, if you're looking for something that can give your media the presentation it deserves, keep watching. I'm Connor Mitchell, and you're watching Dragon Rider Network's review of the Optima ML1050ST projector. Let's get into it. Let's start this review off by taking a look at the design and the basics of this projector. Much like the other portable projectors from Optima I reviewed in the past, this projector is small. Really small. It's less than 2 inches high, 4.5 and inches wide, and just over 4 inches deep. For reference, that's just big enough for me to comfortably hold it in one of my hands. On top of the projector, you will find 7 buttons. Power, Up, Down, Left, Right, Select, and a Menu button. Two other ones are not buttons. One is a temperature and bulb warning light, and the other is absolutely nothing. On the back, you will find all your ports for this projector, DC power, headphones, full-size HDMI, which is useful when you don't want to drag out your mini HDMI conversion cable, universal I.O. port for attaching the Optima accessories, a security lock, micro SD card slot, and a USB port. You will also find the speaker grill. Wrapping around this projector, you will find fans to keep this projector as cool as possible. For those wondering, unless you are hosting a very silent movie or presentation, the sound of the fan should not be overbearing while you're viewing anything on this projector. And on the front, you will find the front lens element, which is also sticking out a great deal. This is what allows the projector to have such a short throw distance for such large images. The ML1050ST also includes a rubber cover for this as you would not want to scratch or break the front lens element. Aesthetically, it's nothing I would hate to have sitting out during a movie night with friends. It's plain enough that it's not going to take any attention away from what you are displaying, and the portability factor is amazing. Not only for its size, but also because Optima includes a carrying case that can fit the projector, power cable, and the remote for this projector. The remote is something that in the two months I've had this projector for, I have never found myself needing to use. Once my computer is hooked up and the display is adjusted, all the controls I would need would be through the computer itself. Moving on to the features of this projector, we start with the specs of what kind of image the ML1050ST can display. This projector is capable of displaying an image with a brightness of 1000 lumens using the LED lamp which is rated for 20,000 hours. What sets this apart from other projectors I review from Optima is the short throw capabilities of this projector. In my testing, this projector was able to deliver a 22 inch image from just 18 inches away on my desk. When projecting onto my white pop-up background, I was able to get 75 inches just from 64 inches away. And according to Optima, this projector is capable of delivering a 100 inch image from just a few feet away. But like any projector, the larger the image you project, the less bright it's going to be. Using a whiteboard on my desk to display a 22 image just from 18 inches away, the image is viewable even in a relatively bright room. Displaying a 75 inch image just from 64 inches away, the room needs to get pretty dark before you have a great image. If you turn on an overhead light or have a lot of sunlight coming into the room, the image is almost unwatchable. The native resolution of this projector is 1280 by 800, but it is capable of projecting a 1080i resolution. Even though we live in a world full of 4K content, the image still looks very good, even when viewing it up close. This is also great considering many of these spaces that the projector will be used in will be quite small. Colors produced by the ML1050ST are bright and vivid as well. Watching scenes such as the opening from Guardians 2 was a clear way for me to see how this projector can deal with fast motion, but also how good the colors look. It's obviously not going to be what you find when you're looking at a 2020 model OLED TV, but considering this is a projected image coming from a nearly pocket-sized projector, it's quite impressive. This projector also includes an autofocus as well as an auto keystone feature. Autofocus can be quite useful when you need to change the projection distance quickly, and auto keystone can also work well at times. Mostly I find that I will manually adjust a keystone as well as the focus of the projector. One of the things I was rather disappointed about was the fact that there is no option to run this projector off of battery power. This really puts a bit of a damper on the portability factor of this projector if you were hoping to take it camping or even just take it outside somewhere. Unless you have something to plug it into, you would not be able to use this projector on the go. Another thing is that, even though it wasn't much of a surprise, 
The built-in speaker on the projector is nothing that you would want to use if you were watching movies or listening to audio with friends. This isn't as big of a problem as the battery power issue since you can either plug in a pair of speakers to the aux port on the back, or you can be like me and connect to Bluetooth when you are streaming from your computer. This is probably one of the best portable projectors I have ever used. Not only because of how much brighter it is than other portable projectors I have used, but because the short throw distance makes this a much more practical projector when living in a small space. Coming in at $750, it's certainly not the cheapest method of watching content, but compare that to the price of an actual 75 inch TV and try seeing how easy it is to take that on the go. Ignoring the lack of a battery for true portability, this is a near perfect projector for those looking for something to either take on the go with you when giving presentations, watching movies with friends, or enjoying a few good hours of Cowboy Bebop during a pandemic.